Hey, what's up guys? This is Peyton McMahon from Down the Scope. Today I'm going to be going through the solo of our song Journey of the Convicted. Alright, so for the first part of the solo, we're going to be up on the high E string. We're going to start with quick hammer ons and pull offs. We're going to go from 18 to 15 on the high E. And then we're going to go 18 of the B string to 15 on the high E. Okay, so we're going to do those. We're going to step up. We're going to do on the high E string a pull off from 20 to 15. And then 18 of the B string, 15 of the E string. So we're gonna do another uh, pull off of 18 of E, 18 of B, 15 of high E. So okay, and then from there we're gonna do all pull offs. We're gonna go 20 to 15, 17 to 15, 18, 17. We're gonna come down and we're gonna do on the B string now, 18 to 15, 17 to 15. Okay. And we're going to go 17, 15, 14 on the G string. Okay, and we're going to go 17, 15, 17 on the D string. 15 on G. 17, 15, 17 again on D string, 14 of G string. So all it's kind of a lot right there, but all together it's Okay, so starting the second part out, it's going to be kind of similar to the first part. So what we're going to be doing is starting from 15 of the high E string, we're going to be doing pull off, pull offs to the 10th fret of the E string. So we're going to do the pull off. We're going to do 12th fret of B, 10th fret of E. Kind of like the first part. So then we're going to do all the pull offs. We're going to go 15 to 10. 12 to 10, 13 to 10, 12 to 10 again. Okay? Make sense? So we're going to take that same pattern, we're just going to move it up. So now we're going to be doing on the high E string, 17 pulling off to 12. On B string, we're going to do 15, back to 12. So. And then the pull off notes in there is going to be 17, 14, 15, 14, okay? Okay, so then we're going to step it up again. We're going to now go from 20, pull off to 15. The note on B is going to be 17, 17th fret of B string, 
back to 15 of E, so. And then the pull-offs is 20, uh, 17, 19, 17. And on the last little bit of this run, we're gonna be going. So we're gonna slide up to, what is that, 20? Yep, 20 of B string. And then a quick little uh, 17 to 20 of high E with a little bend at the end. A bend or vibrato, or whatever you want to do. I think that's what I usually do, is just kind of give it a little pulse in there. Okay, so for the third part of this solo, um, we're going to be starting on 17 of the A string. Uh, and we're kind of just working with the 17th and 19th fret, and we're going to be moving it just down the strings. So uh, it's going to start with a hammer on from 17 to 19. And we're going to go 17 of the D string back to 19 of the A string. Then we're going to do a hammer on and pull off from 17 to 19 on the D string. And then 19, 17 back on A. Okay, so. Okay, so we're just going to take that pattern and you're just going to step it up a string every time. Okay, and then until you get to the B string, you're going to go instead of the 19th fret, you're going to start hitting the 20th fret. Okay, and then same here from the B and E string, now you're just working with 17 to 20 instead of 17 to 19. Okay. And then when you get to the end of that little phrase, uh, we're going to bend up the 20th fret of B. And uh, we're going to kind of just release on to 17. And then um, we're going to do 19, 17, 19 of the G string. So. So that whole part, almost full speed-ish, is uh... All right, so for the last part of the solo, we're gonna be starting on the 14th fret of the high E string, and we're gonna be doing a pull-off to the 10th fret of the E string. Okay, so the pull-off, we're gonna go 12 of B, 11 of G, 12 of D, 11 of G, 12 of B, and then back to 11 of G. So. Okay. So then from there, we're going to go up and we're going to do a finger tap. So we're going to go finger tap on the high E, 17th fret. Pull off to the 14th fret. Pull off to the 10th fret. So. Okay. And then kind of running the same arpeggio again. So we're going to do all the pull-off. 12 of B, 11 G, 12 of D, and then we're going to go 14 of A, 12 of A. All right, so that whole little part is... Okay. So then from there, we're going to slide up to the 17th fret of A string. We're going to go 17 on the D string, 15, 14 of G, 15 of B, and then 17 of high E string, and we're just going to pull off to the 13th fret. And then 15 of B, 14 of G, and then slide down into the 12th fret of the G string as well. So. Okay, so that whole bit is. All right, so now that you got 
the main part of the solo, or all of it, um, we come up and do just kind of a harmonized melody piece uh, at the end of this song. So to, we're going to start on 15 of B, and it's just going to be have a little bit of a hold to it, and then 18, 17, 18 of B, 17 of high E, 18, 17 of B. So we're going to take that pattern and just move it down. Um, so now we're going to be starting on 13 of the B. And our notes we're going to be using are going to be 17, 15, and then 15 of the high E. Okay, we're going to move down one more time. Now we're starting on the 12th fret of the B. And the notes we're going to be using are 15 and 13, and then 13 of high E. And then the last little lick of this is we're going to go to 14 of the G string. And we're just going to kind of run this scale across. So 14, go on to B string, we're going to do 12, 13, 15, 12 of high E, uh, 15 of B, 13 of B, 12 of B. So. Sorry, so no, no 12th fret at the end there, so. Okay. So we do it that way once, and then we're going to come back on the starting part of 14 of G. Same scale, we're just moving it up. So 14, and then we're going to go 13 of B, 15 of B, 17 of B, 15 of E. 17 of B and 15 of B to end it. So, All right, so that whole little bit at the end there is. And then the lick starts over. That wraps up our video of Journey of the Convicted. I hope you guys really enjoyed it, and be sure to stay tuned for the next episodes of Sticks, Tricks, and Licks. Take it easy.